He's been in with both of them. Um, one thing he knows who hurt him. That's the fact of This is Jonathan Agger, fifth Pro Boxing fans, joined by Frank Warren here at the weigh-ins for Joshua Dubois. Uh, when I arrived, Frank, I said to a few of the media members, it feels like a Canelo-type weigh-in in there. Uh, amazing scenes ahead of tomorrow night. Canelo, bigger than Canelo. I mean, this is huge, isn't it? I mean, look where we are. You know, Trafalgar Square. Iconic uh, site, iconic venue in London for an iconic fight. Now, Frank, 96,000 expected uh, at Wembley Stadium tomorrow night. Uh, what is it about this fight, what is it about this event that the British public have bought into? I think what they're buying into is the fact that these guys are on such a roll. They're two massive big punchers. It's an all-British affair and we always have great fights when it's a Brit fighting a Brit at this level. World title's on the line. Everything's on the line. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, There's careers on the line. And the prize at the end of it, besides you know, the winner which I believe will be Daniel coming away with it or retaining his IBF title is to get the winner of the fight on the on the 21st in Riyadh, 21st December in Riyadh season, the rematch between Tyson and Usyk. So it's uh, it's just fabulous. Talk to us about Daniel Dubois' mentality. You know, since since you know all these fights he's had. You know, he went to Poland. Uh, you know, he's had those those fights with Miller and Hergovic. Talk to me about his personality. That we've seen it change. You know, we've seen come out of his shell he seems a lot more assured and confident in himself I've seen it he has changed I mean he's on a roll he's fought he's fought three undefeated fighters you know uh, a world title fight a interim world title fight and a tough tough 10 rounder against Babe Miller all well all you know all as I say undefeated fighters world ranked fighters and he's won two of them and I think the fight with Usyk I've said enough about that one and the and the so-called low blow, but I think he, I think out of that fight, after that fight, he changed in a big way because I think he knows he could have done better and, and could have won the fight for when he had him in trouble. But you know, he's a young man for a heavyweight. He's a young man, and this is, I believe, this is going to be his time. Daniel Dubois isn't going to tell us uh, his game plan, but in your opinion, how does he win the fight tomorrow night? What's he got to do to defeat AJ? He's got to be. He's got to use his boxing brain, he's got to get behind his jab, and that is the key to him, forcing AJ on the back foot, get behind that jab, and keep working and working, moving his head, more than he did in the Hergovic fight, he got caught with quite a few right hands in the Hergovic fight, he can't afford to do that, and he's just got to keep grit his teeth and stay there with him and, put, and force him on the back foot. Now, obviously, Usyk and uh, Fury both going to be ringside uh, tomorrow night. Fury's back in your man, Dubois, and Usyk's going with AJ. Uh, why has Usyk got this wrong tomorrow night? Well, he's been in with both of them. Um, one thing he knows who hurt him. That's the fact of uh, I don't know. I mean, they, I know they, they, they get on quite well, don't they, with AJ? So maybe that, that's what it is. Who knows? That's his choice. Everybody's in entitled to an opinion. But as you said himself, normally when he tips somebody, he gets it wrong. And uh, before we move on to the undercard, just look, last one on the fight, uh, Froch has come out and said that he feels Joshua's career, as you said, on the line tomorrow night, but he feels that defeat and he's finished. Uh, what do you think? I think I agree with part of that, but it's how you lose. You know, if he gets absolutely destroyed or gets poleaxed, if it's a very close fight, and or if it, you know, it's a split decision, it's how it ends. You can't until the fight's over. You can't say whether somebody's finished or not. We, you know, I mean, I've done that in the past and got it wrong. Like Derek Chisora is a prime example of that. Is there any any update on a potential Zhang Bacoli fight? People were talking about on social media. Um, there's been some discussion but nothing's happened. Uh, Derek Chisora has been here all week. Uh, any latest with him? He's been here. <laughs> any latest with him? <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, we're going to meet up this week, I think. We, because this has been so busy here, we don't have a chance, but we'll meet up next week and uh, he'll fight before the end of the year. And, uh, you said, uh, I believe last week, that uh, Joyce and Yoka is a fight you might be looking at. Is there a date with that or anything finalised? It's a fight I like. I think it's, I think it's uh, a fight. There's, there's a lot of controversy.
controversy about the Olympics, certainly after the Olympics, so it'll be quite an interesting fight to make. Last one, uh, Frank, tell, tell us what the, the best fight on the, on the undercard is tomorrow night. I can't, and I'm not being evasive, I can't. They're such good fights. You know, the the Boazzi fight with uh, Will, him and Willie is a, a great fight. I mean, it's a really great fight. A lot of needle there, and they, they got their two had impeccable amateur background, the both of them. Um, and Willie's hit a lot of form now, he's hit really good form, and, and Josh is undefeated. And there's a lot on the line for this fight. I mean, it's a, it's a major fight. Hamza, he can't fall to slip up. He's got a, he's in with a guy who's caused a few upsets. So he's got to be the top of his game. If he wins this, he'll get a world title fight. Um, you know, all the way down the card, you know, uh, Mark Chamberlain, he's got to win his fight. He's got a tough fight. There's a, uh, 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 you know, it's just a, just a great, great undercard, all of them. Actually, lastly, Frank, uh, it is Joshua Dubois, so match him against Queensbury again. Does it feel like a, another sort of 5v5 type event, or, you know, what have you been yeah, saying to Eddie about it? Look, this is a significant fight in, in world boxing. It's a significant fight in British boxing history. There's no doubt about that. And, uh, both of us are competitive, our companies and certainly ourselves, and we both want to win it. Frank, appreciate your time and uh, we we'll look forward to tomorrow night. Thank you.